Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. And guess where I am? I am back in Aotearoa, in New Zealand. And guess who I got with me? I got Dwight. Yeah, we're doing a trip together this week. Uh, we're hoping to catch some fish. Last time I was here, I wanted to really catch a kingfish off the rocks and I didn't get to do that. Or I never, it, well, I tried many times and it never happened. So I'm hoping this trip, this is the one. Today I'm at my favorite fishing spot. This is where I caught my big snapper on the last trip. So uh, I brought Dwight out here with his family, Hazel and Weston, and Jocelyn's here with me as well. We're just gonna get set up here and uh, we'll get fishing. Okay, before we start fishing, I have this. This is called burley. And in New Zealand, people use this all the time for land-based fishing, even on the boat. It's basically chump. You just chuck it in the water, you know, and it just chums the water and brings in all the bait. So I'm going to set that up. Yes, 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 got one! <laughs> Dwight's got a fish. There you go. Good start. Okay, got my burly. First time using a burly, actually. I'll just put it right over here Sorry, with these guys. Here. No, this is, you, it's chum. Oh. All right, let's see what Dwight's got. Oh, it is a kahawai, is it? Yeah. Yes, nice. Keep that. Okay. Keep that for sure. Yeah, you should just be able to bring it up. Strong enough leader. Put it in that little pool. There we go. Burly. That's going to bring in all the fish. I just need, oh, look at, oh my gosh, there's so many fish in there actually already. Okay, I just need something to tie off to. All right, Dawson's got one as well. What? Snapper. Nice. Little snapper. No, it's too small. Put him back. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to tie off this burly somewhere. I'm just trying to find some something. I, I don't want to use this because this is an expensive fishing line. <laughs> really expensive. So I'm getting something else. I have rope, but it's too short. So I have some other line that's... Cheaper. Huh? First, first bait, first cast, shot it within 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I think the moment hit the water. Yeah. Easy money. Easy. Fishing's too easy for her. Alright, looks pretty good. I just tied off some fishing line. And then it's just going to be kind of going up and down with the waves. And you can already see a ton of ton of fish down there. Oh, there's one couple snapper and a bunch of... Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see how long it takes Jocelyn to catch a fish. By the way, there's a burly right there, so it's a ton of fish there already. Uh oh. So just keep dropping down there. Yeah, I mean, that's the point. Oh, okay. Just drop down there? Yeah, you could drop it there. They look a little small. Yeah, there's like some small snapper. The bigger ones will come. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, it's coming. It's oh, there it is. There it is. Um, he, oh, he came, oh, he jumped after it. That was crazy. So this is a circle hook, so you don't have to set it. Just let him eat it. Got a nice big rod here with a bait runner. Got one of these Okuma bait runners. You just flip the bail right there on the back and it freely just takes line. Really good for when you're fishing for the snapper and even for the live, live baiting massive hook right there and one thing it's a real cool tactic that they use in New Zealand um, they put a balloon put a balloon on the swivel and it acts like a big bobber and you can't really use just a regular bobber because there's not any that's really big enough and that'll keep the kahawai on the surface and you can watch it where watch where it goes okay so you catch one fish and that's good good enough <laughs> so far. So far. When the big when the big fish start coming, huh? Okay, I have some eight pound line. Straight to the swivel here. I think I'm gonna tie it off to the top side of the main main line side of the swivel. Okay. Now it's basically like a three-way swivel with a balloon on it. Alright buddy. Thank you. Thank you for 
your sacrifice. I'm putting this guy as a live bait. Live bait? Mm hmm. You got it? Yep. Is that brain jack? Hmm? Is that his brain? Did you get his brain? No, just his back. He's angry. He's angry. All right. Ready. Oh no, he's dying. Swim. Swim, buddy. Swim. Swim. There you go. Swim. Shoot. Swim, swim. Here you go. Here you go. You got it. You got it. All right, that's not going to work. He's dead. All right, I'm going to have to cast him. No other choice. <laughs> there you go. And I'm gonna leave this somewhere. I need a kahawai. I'm trying. But the. Ka kahawai, just go toss it out there a little bit further. Um, snappers want to come. Both yeah. The babies, because I'm fishing. Use a big, school. use the whole thing. I'll go like this. Uh, try my best to skip the preschool, go into middle school. Yeah. Two. The head. There you go. Toss it out a little further. I need kahawai. Too far? No, that's good. Just let it drop. Let it drop naturally. It'll start getting hit. And if nothing and like... I usually just leave my bail open. Yeah, that's fine. At this point, we, if we had a long net, we could net them. <laughs> oh yeah, we totally could net those fish. I think it's uh, enough burly for these little suckers. All right, the next plan of attack for these kingfish, stick baits. I got this beautiful stick bait from Malasi Lures. And, man, it's so nice. First cast on this guy. Hopefully I don't lose it. Let's see if we can get one. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> It's, a, it's fine. Oh, you got one. Oh, nice. Close it. Reel in your slack. Reel in your slack. Okay. A little more. Yeah, right there. And then open this. Hold on. Yeah, you can keep them. Yeah. Nice. Jocelyn got a kahawai. Nice. And then look at this. Look where my hand is. Mm -hmm. You lift it like this, or you flip it down and just leave it like that. And then it's going to start pulling line. Okay? okay. It's going to pull line. And once it starts pulling fast, just start reeling. Okay. okay. But it's gonna drop all the way down. And then if it goes too far, it might get stuck on a rock. So just bring it in and recast it. Okay. All right. Okay. Now bring it in towards me. Stop there. Oh, you caught one of those blue blue ones oh, yeah. it does look like a half moon huh wow so pretty are we keeping him no pretty <laughs> cut that out cut that out <laughs> <laughs> nice release <laughs> all right you see my balloon out there kahawai under it he's gonna go get me a nice big kingfish that's right swim out swim out far Okay, Weston, keep your eye on that balloon, okay? Okay. Make sure he doesn't come towards the shore and he goes away like he is right now. He's doing pretty good. I want him to swim all the way out there. Not too much current right now. It's sort of a standstill, even though we're in the middle of the tide. Hopefully, things start moving here. All right, back on the stick bait. Oh, look at those black, black fish. There you go. Come on now. Might be lunchtime for me. Is it time already? Yeah, it's noon. Dang. Uh, oh, ooh, nice one. Oh, it came off. Oh, come on. That was a nice snapper, huh? Wow. 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gotta get that big one. Yeah, I'm gonna start switching up. Now, we have plenty of bait now, I think. Yeah, we got this guy. We can bring the other bait bag too. Oh, oh my God, uh, <laughs> I saw the red. Too, too excited. Too excited. Uh, too too excited. excited. Don't set it. Don't set it. Don't set it. Dwight, Just let don't him set eat. It. Let him eat it. Don't set it. Relax, boy. Relax. Relax. Sit back. I can see why big bait would do well. It would sink faster. And... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, use that head, man. I will. Eventually. We can chum a lot more, too. I, when I did catch it, I did. I, I chum like some piece of the kawaii. Yeah. I chum the whole whole fish basically all right my bait's doing well out there yeah really that well. looks like a perfect position now you can watch Dwight miss all the fish <laughs> <laughs> there you go Dwight it's tiny. <laughs> the oh, smallest <laughs> that's a little one gonna have to do better than that we don't even have one for dinner yet. I know. Right. <laughs> all right, guys, we've been fishing a couple hours now. Uh, nothing, uh, no catches that are really all that good yet. We've caught some kahawais and some snapper, but uh, all pretty small. Uh, we've been using the kahawai for bait as well. They work really well for snapper. And nothing on the stick bait, nothing on the live bait, but I got my livey out there. Hoping something happens here. Uh, we're gonna need dinner too, so hopefully we get some keeper snapper at least and some kahawai. That will be good for dinner. You don't know how onigiri is, Weston? It's the rice ball. Big chum. Big bait. That looks good. I'm gonna get some kimchi. Jocelyn, you want onigiri? I saw pretty big snappers float by. So this is your relative or that made it or? Oh, my friend's relative. Your friend's relative. Yeah, my friend's mother's sister. Mother's sister. She was uh, 84 years old. 80, how many? How old? 84 years old. 84. Smells mm -hmm. so good. Yeah, Straight she from she Korea. Healthy. She was okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it wow, she just passed away just like that. Come on, kimchi. I've been waiting <laughs> to eat this. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is this daikon? Yeah, daikon. Oh. The little size of daikon. Little baby daikon. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, nice. I'll take so this. Thank you. Yeah. So good. Who wants kimchi? Oh my god, this one. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh. Mmm. That's delicious. I left for two minutes. And my fish is on the shoreline. Fixed. Oh my. I want to enjoy the rest of this kimchi. So you heard Hazel telling us about the kimchi. The Hazel just came to New Zealand from Korea, being there for six weeks. And um, so that lady, her friend's aunt, makes really amazing kimchi. And this is the world's last batch. And I guess she never passed down the recipe to anyone. So that's it and it's so amazing and we have more um we have another batch that's like a more fermented kimchi back um at the airbnb we're staying in today mm. Mm. wow there's some different looking fish here i don't know what they are i think that might be maybe some jacks or something what is that they're right here. Hey, look at these fish, Dwight. Yeah. What, are the, what is that? Can you tell? No. Are those jacks, maybe? You're talking about those two things, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a whole little school of them. 
Might be a Jax. They're not big, all that, but pretty cool. I might bite this. Might bite the stick bait. Stick bait's probably a little too big for them. Dawson's calling me over there. She might have a big one. What's up? Fish on? Oh my god, it's a moray. Moray eel. <laughs> no wonder. I was like, why is it fighting really weird? <laughs> it's a moray eel. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah, those things are hard to kill too. Okay. Dang it. Got himself all tangled up with the line. Oh. It's heavy. I just put it back. He's just trying to throw it up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, these guys are vicious. Vicious, huh? At least the hook is right there. There we go. Got it out. Okay, get away from me. Uh -oh. Does eel taste good? Yeah, uh, yeah, I heard yeah, they taste good. Okay, sorry, buddy. Print it and eat it. You want to print it? I don't know. You haven't. Pr I've often wanted to. I have they just slime your. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of texture or anything. Yeah. Oh, it's freaking gnarly. Mm, we should touch him. You can touch him. Super mm. slimy. Slimy. Yeah. Super Maybe slimy. Maybe just uh, let him slide down. Yeah, he'll probably <laughs> slide <laughs> down. He's gelatinous. There you go. Oh, shoot. There you go, Dwight. Nah, there you go, Dwight. There you go. There you go. I caught something to print. And did. Come on. Don't let him go. Yeah, keep him tight. That's a snapper, right? Yeah, that's a snapper. Oh my gosh. Keep him, keep going, keep going. Okay. Keep reeling. Good fight, good fight. Yeah, good one, keeper. Good keeper. You want my fish gripper thing? No, it's all good. I'll just pull him up. Pull up the leader. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Good work, Dwight. Nice one. Yes. Nice one. That's a good family size one. Good family size snapper right there. Yeah, let's see that thing. There you go, Dwight. Oh, my first. Well, good one. Decent one. Yeah. I'm so excited. First keeper. First keeper. Yeah. That's a perfect keeper. Oh, man. Nice job, Dwight. Oh, that's so <laughs> cool. I'm yeah. so excited. Good job, Dwight. It was on that head. Yeah. I told you. Wow. It's that head, man. Okay, we're going to keep him in the live well for now. Well, he's pretty dead. You're right. It was like... Nibble, 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 and all of a sudden it just... Just was on. Wham. On that kahawai head. Wow. Trusty kahawai head. <laughs> I want to do that again. That was so much fun. Yeah. Did you see that one at all before it hit it? Uh-uh. No, huh? It was down there. It was all the way down. Yeah. Oh, 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 kingfish, 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 kingfish. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy. He's still there. Figure eight him. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. 
Yeah! Yeah! I gotta stop him. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, he's reefing me. He's reefing me. Good. Good. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you can't. You can try. Oh, grab the leader, grab the leader. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Here you go. Woo! Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Sweet! You did it! Hold on, buddy, hold on. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, on the stick bait. Yes. Looks like a sea bass. Close to a keeper. Oh, it's not a keeper? We got to measure it. Okay. We circle aided him. Circle, yeah. That was freaking so much circle fun. Circle aided him. I can't believe I freaking figure aided him. That was so much fun to watch. Got to be 75. He is 76. Oh, hold this right here, Doug. Yep. Oh, 78. Sweet. Keeper. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, I'm so... God! I got to witness that. That was so awesome. <laughs> but right when Jocelyn left, Woo! she was going for a hike. <laughs> Woo! That was rad. That was sweet. Keeper. Dude. First one off the rocks. Dude. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Woo. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. Yes. First keeper kingfish off the rocks in New Zealand. Ah, we did it. We did it. That was the best strike I've seen all year. Yeah. Honestly, that was so good. It was super cool how you just stuck around. It did. Stuck around the entire time. I was like, dude, good. That's awesome. And your other bait's like way out there right now. Yeah, it's perfect position too. Well, there you go, guys. First kingfish off the rocks in New Zealand. Yes, I got it done. Even though it wasn't like a massive kingfish, Kingfish, also known as yellowtail. They get really big here. That one, uh, that's just barely a keeper. It has to be 75 inches or 75 centimeters to keep. That one was 78, so just barely over the keeper size, but a keeper nonetheless. And first one off the rocks. It's a good way to, good, good one to start with our second uh, tour in New Zealand. And now Jocelyn wants one too, so she's working for it now. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah, do I can catch one too? Now, we got a good feast. Jocelyn's working hard. That, that rod, that reel is so heavy to cast. It's 18,000 reel. It's massive. Keep your rod tip up, no slack. There you go. There you go, Weston. <laughs> yeah, there's a big one in there. Good job. There you go. Nice. All right, still got the live bait out there. Nothing touched the live bait yet. I can't believe I figure aided that kingfish. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And I didn't see any other fish with them. It was just one solo kingy. I thought they normally kind of travel in packs. Yep, getting bit. There it is. 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 Come. No, it's a snapper, I think. Good one too. It's a good one. It's big. Oh, oh. Junkie, that thing. Oh. Hey. <laughs> it's bigger than yours, Daddy. It is. The leader will hold. It's a, it's a heavy leader. You, it'll hold. Hey. Oh ho 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 ho! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah! Yeah! Heck yeah! Another one! Yeah, right on the lip. Hooked him perfectly. There we go. This guy is still nice and healthy. We can release him. There we go. Another big snapper off the rocks. 
we're gonna get this guy back. Looks nice and healthy. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to let it go. There we go. He's ready. Ooh. He's ready. There you go. Go the other way. There you go. Oh, what a day. That was a good solid, maybe eight pounds, maybe. Should have measured it. There you go. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Keep in it. Keep in it. Okay, ready? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. There you go. There you go. Go, go, go. Nice. Nice. There you go. Pull, pull up, pull up. Oh, strong. Be strong, Les. Be strong. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Bring him out of there. Keep him out of the rocks. There you go, Les. There you go. Hey, good job. Keeper. <laughs> there, I swing it all over. Good job, Weston. There you go, Dwight. There you go. That's a good one. That is a good one. There it is, man. Take it. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. There you go. Oh, yeah. Real, real, real. Oh, yeah, you got it. There you go. Real, real, real. Yeah, good. Good, nice. Nice work. Keep going. There you go. Now you're good. Oh, jeez. There you go. Oh, wow. Good one. Good one, Wes. Good one. Good one. Come on, keep going. Give it to him. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. Oh. There it is. Big one. Nice. Nice fish. Come on, Dwight. Land it. There it is. Well, what an amazing fishing session. That was such an epic day off the rocks. And I can't believe I finally got my kingfish. Next time it's gonna be a bigger one. And I'm glad Dwight and Weston got a really big snapper as well. Now, Dwight went ahead and he made gyotaku out of this kingfish. And he's currently doing the snapper right now as we fillet this. And the ink that he uses on here is water soluble and it's food safe as well. So after he puts all the ink on it we can still eat it and it's completely fine now i'm gonna fillet it and we're gonna make some dinner so if you guys are wondering you know it looks like a yellow tail yes this is uh, the same thing as a yellow tail but in new zealand they call it a kingfish all right gonna take the head off first oh actually you know what we're gonna do a skibiki which is a japanese scaling technique see that just gonna take the scales off just by cutting it Oh my gosh, so windy. Oh no, 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 no. Camera almost fell over. That's how windy it is. And if you're wondering what's up with the scaling technique, why, why do that? Why don't you just scale it normally? This preserves the meat. It keeps the meat nice and nice and fresh. Uh, when making sushi, it's really important that the meat stays together. Fish is very delicate, and if it's mishandled, it starts breaking apart very easily, and it becomes impossible to make sushi. So that's why this scaling technique was developed, mainly for sushi purposes. Today I'm using my deba to fillet. That's kind of the more traditional filleting knife uh, for Japanese chefs but normally I use a chef knife so I just like the rigid 
sharpness of the chef knife and the deba, deba is good great as well but it's i think it's a little too robust and it kind of ends up cutting through the bones and uh, you can't feel the bones as much but it's really good to get the job done Okay, I'm just gonna cut this in half first, just like this, boom. I'm gonna keep the skin on for now because this is a little dirty. I'll uh, de-skin it inside. There you go, cut that off. Gosh, get out of here. I'm just cutting out the middle pin bones and bloodline just corded it up nicely and uh, I'm just gonna put it in this ziplock bag for now we'll transport it inside so obviously we got to eat some raw so we're gonna do that we're also gonna do a second preparation which is gonna be a kimchi stew with this uh, kengi and we're using the kimchi that Hazel brought over from Korea and we're just gonna cut it into nice big chunks Something like that. I'm just gonna toss that in the stew. And I'm taking the tail side and doing it on that tail side because this tail bit is really chewy if you try to eat it raw. But when you cook it, it's perfectly fine. Very tender still. And Dwight's about to finish up this gyotaku. Oh nice. yeah. There you go. Was this a 10-6? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, looks really good. Looks like a GT on there. Yeah, <laughs> 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 okay. Woohoo! Nice. <laughs> hey, you should have them print you a GT. <laughs> yeah, I gotta catch, catch my GT. Oh man, finally. Oh, yeah. There you go. But I like keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Got this nice piece here. I'm just gonna score the skin side. This is uh, I just took the skin off. What is that sound? That's a sound of cutting. I made a beautiful little rose. It's pretty easy to do this. You just keep wrapping it around. Not much to it. Easy way to impress your friends. All right, now we're gonna make the stew. Some olive oil. Let's start with some chunky onions. I'm gonna put in the white ends of the green onion. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This kimchi smells amazing. Straight from Korea. Oh, oh that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. Oh. oh, yes. Look at this. Whoa. Older than one year. Oh. 
That's amazing. Wait, can I just try one like this? Wow. <laughs> right here, I'll see if we get some. Here we go. Yum. Oh, that's good. Can I try? Yes. It's so good. <laughs> now, I want to put some of the juices in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yum. All right. Got the kimchi stew boiling. I'm going to put the fish in. Get a lot of fish there. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of this kimchi seasoning as well. Also straight from Korea. Put a little more in this. I'm making a little side of bok choy as well. There we go. Nice. All right, well this kimchi stew is done. Looks delicious. I'm just gonna top it off with a little green onion. I have a little bit of ponzu from when we visited Japan this year, uh, when I did that collab with the guy that injects soy sauce and stuff into the bloodstream of the fish. So he was using this ponzu, so he gave me one. This bok choy is done as well. Everything is finishing up. Let me taste one of these, see if it needs any more seasoning. <laughs>